Hello traders, didn't think I was going to be making another video so quick, but this is very, uh, this is a good video, it's going to be short, and it's going to be on something that's very relevant to a question that was asked about a particular back pattern. This is today's chart on the uh, Dow Jones, 610 tick to make things a little easier for you guys to see and to consolidate it a little better. It's not a pattern that I traded, or would have traded, because it, it is outside of our trade of my trading hours, okay? So very first thing we want to assess is what is the context of the market? What framework is the market in? Are we in a bullish market? Are we in a bearish market? And more than anything, we're in a market that's consolidating, that's trying to get bullish. However, we're bearish because in the grand scheme of things, we have this high, this low, we have a lower high, we have a retest of the lows, and we have price trying to climb back up. Okay, so any pattern that we would be looking for here as far as context and placement will be a pattern that gets us on the bearish side of things because this market, although it's consolidating, although it's trying to get bullish, it is still bearish in the grand scheme of things. Okay, that's what I mean is this pattern occurring in the correct place. Does the pattern make sense? And in this particular pattern, it does. Okay, now I'm going to point it out. Now remember, I always tell you to find the anchor legs that are clear, a clear high and a clear low. Any anchor leg that you find within here, although we could say that this is a clear high and this is a clear low, weakens that anchor leg because there is price action above it. There is price action um, above it. Um, just like here, this is a clear low, this is a clear high. This is a clear high, this is a clear low. I'm not picking one something here, I'm not picking something there, I'm using the absolute high and the absolute low to work off of. So having said that, we're going to take this pattern right here, and we're going to identify this main anchor leg here, and we see the price comes up into a 50% area, Fibonacci ratio. That is a first qualification to a bad pattern. Now you're going to tell me, oh wait a minute, we got to close above the 50. Yes we do. But that is the 50% is at a 14 uh, at a 914 and this close at 923. Okay, we're talking less than seven points. Now we have to give a little bit of tolerance to these. We can't expect price to always come exactly to the ratio. So you got to determine what is acceptable to you as far as a little margin of error. Two above, three above. This is acceptable to me because price rejected it harshly didn't really trade very much above it but one candle the next one rejected it very strongly this in my eyes and in my interpretation is an acceptable okay uh, tolerance okay so then we want price to retrace back down into a 618 to 786 area the traditional pattern calls all the way down to an 88 I don't want that to happen okay so I um, am going to draw a ratio here and see that this pattern respects that 78.6% Fibonacci ratio. So we have the X right there. We have A right here. We have B right there. And we have C down here. Sorry. C right here. Okay. Now, and we'll put D over here for now. So one of the things that I always tell you guys is to use harmonics, to, to project harmonics forward, not to be afraid to do that, and to use that as a way to estimate or measure where price is likely to come to an end okay to help you build that confluence zone as to where price should finish now we know that a bad pattern should complete somewhere between the 88 up here and the 161 of this area because it is an extended a b equals c d or an a b c uh, D to the upside. It extends past the one to one. Okay, so I'm not going to use the shortcut key for my uh, because it will mess up my recording. So we have to understand that this pattern comes into its termination point 
somewhere in this range. This is where the pattern completes. Okay, this is the textbook um, completion point to this pattern. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Not the textbook, but my rules. Okay, now what could we use from a harmonic position to evaluate how price is reaching this and is there an expectation as to where this market should find exhaustion? And what we have here, we have some very clear swings that we could use. Okay, so I'm going to draw. that and I'm going to draw three of the same size so you can see that I am not cheating okay and we see that somewhere in this general area price should find exhaustion and correct and price does and the same should happen if we project that forward so we see we have a very nice very defined very precise three derives pattern that completes somewhere in this general area now I talked to you guys about price moving into the price reversal zone and it should not look like there is strength building that there it is a runaway train so we see here that price comes up comes down very deep right then comes up with a lot of force doesn't really make a whole hell of a lot of a um, new structure high here doesn't really correct that deep because of momentum strong but what happens okay structure is violated okay that tells you that you know, the bulls are not as strong as they would appear to be. Then price tries to make a new structure high and is not able to, comes down a little bit and then comes up and doesn't quite make it up there, comes back down to structure, comes back. So we see that this is a labored climb, that the bulls are struggling, not like it was here, not like it was here, okay? The bulls are really struggling to take price up there. Price is respecting harmonics on the way up this is a very nice, very clear indication that this pattern has a very high probability of working out and that it is also safe to look for trading opportunities in this area. There is also, looking to the left, okay, nice structure where price reacted very nicely to this level, which also coincides kind of sort of to our, to our little rectangle here. So you can see we have very nice confluence, we have harmonic confluence, we have a pattern completion and all of these elements that um, indicate to us that this is a reasonably safe pattern to take that puts order flow back in the intended direction to the downside. Now the market's not moving now because they, they, they close the market around this time and then opens up you know, after five or so. So we're not gonna really know what happens here. Um, I'll, I'll post it tomorrow um, or later on tonight into a thread as a still picture as to, how this, um, when the market opens up again, um, in which way it opens. But as you can see, this is the proper uh, way to identify the bat pattern. This is the proper completion area to the bat pattern. We had some nice harmonics going into this and poses a very nice trading opportunity uh, to the downside, okay? Um, the pattern that was indicated earlier on the thread did not really extend far enough into a proper completion at D. That's why I said it's not a pattern. That's why I asked what the values were, but this is the proper uh, termination point. Let me draw it so you can see symmetrically what the pattern is supposed to look like. Um, with the, uh, triangles here I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little fast but I'm trying to keep these videos short so that they're not too crazy but as you can see the bat out of all the patterns this is the one that looks the most symmetrical as far as you know point to points that you know it, it's a it's a pattern that I like particularly and you know I rather if I'm going to trade these patterns I rather trade the garlies and the bats over the other ones because the other ones are just you know, structure's invalidated, structure is broken, and you're dealing with a very bullish um, move, and expectation is not great. Um, these tend to work out better. They have better uh, better risk reward profiles, and um, usually work out more often than, they, um, than the other ones. And I'm talking about the crabs and the butterflies, okay, and the, and the ciphers. But um, nonetheless, this is the um, beautiful, 
uh, back pattern that completed proper anchor leg clear high clear low proper correction proper correction and then very nice harmonics in a labored um, price action or order flow climb into the completion point um, all good signs of of market um, you know exhaustion and um, breakdown in order flow as you can see when when the bears have come in they've come in aggressively and that is all um, that adds adds to your case building um, now the entry would have been in here um, on any one of these candles here um, then you would extend your um, it's a uh, erase this erase this erase this and we would draw low to high entry would be here entry would be here stops above X hang on a second pardon I paused the video for a minute my uh, daughter was knocking on the door um, and then uh, break even would be here at the 382 profit target will be minimum here and I say minimum because you know we're, we're overall in the market that's trying to get bearish again and I love we're having deep corrections and you know we still see the intent of the bears to come in overall this is a lower high you know if you see price accelerating into your profit target don't just take profit you can extend it you can use your trail to um to uh lock in profit and see how far price action takes you um but risk reward on this is fantastic you're talking one two almost three to one um, risk reward which is great um, so you can see it is quite nice risk reward very very low risk very good um, trading opportunity to take to the short side had this pattern completed during my hours of um, operation I would have definitely uh, taken this trade but I am very strict in my rules for a reason they keep me on the profitable side long term and um, you have to you have to be true to your rules otherwise um, what do you have so that's it um, I wanted to um, just point that out and show you guys the proper bat since it was very applicable to the questions that I asked um, yesterday um, to the trader that posted the uh, the potential bat um, I wanted to show what a proper bat looks like how to properly identify an anchor leg and how to look at that move into that D to evaluate the price action and the order flow to see whether it's worth taking the risk and shorting that pattern. In this particular case, this couldn't be any prettier. Um, we do have price making lower highs and new structure lows. Don't know what really is happening here right now. The market closed, but we're seeing that this level is somewhat being respected by price so initially we would want to see price close below this to make us feel better about this particular trade it is what it is though if price comes up takes out your stop it's okay it was a perfect pattern it was great pattern completion order flow was correct uh context was great everything was a green light so if it fails it fails and you can live with that knowing that you took the proper trade in the proper direction in the proper price reversal zone, okay? All right, like I said, that's it.